Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. Let me get a quick drink first. <sighs> yep, that hits the spot. So let me ask you a question. Do you have basic rules of engagement that help you to decide whether you're going to connect with someone on social media or whether you're you're going to do certain things in general and I'll obviously I'm gonna explain what I mean here you know lately I've been getting some very interesting emails and very interesting requests that seem to go along with a lot of the people that have been connecting with me on Twitter and LinkedIn lately that being that I don't know who these people are I don't know anything about these people now I know on LinkedIn and on Twitter you don't really know everybody and that's you know expected but the emails I've been getting have been from people I've never heard of their website I don't know their name I don't know how they found me but they're sending me links they're sending me links to their blogs they're sending me links to infographics and they're asking me to look at them and to comment on them and to share them with my readers and such and I'm sitting there I'm trying to think okay now why would I do that I don't know who you are you've never been on any of my blogs I'm not connected with you on Twitter Facebook Google Plus nothing I've never heard of you it's like you just walked out from behind a trash can and asked me for 10 bucks and I don't know who you are I have no clue now I could do the easy thing which says well let me go look at it and see if I'm interested but I don't have that kind of time and you know I've set up my own little rules for how I want to connect with people on social media in general I don't just connect with a lot of people on my own I, I really don't it's rare I would have had to have seen them doing something you know pretty special for me to decide to make the first connection as odd as this sounds <laughs> Just to throw this in there, I dated four women in my life. Every single one of them asked me out first. And the last one I married. So there <laughs> you go. So, you know, not that I didn't try to ask certain women out here and there. I did try that for a few times. I actually got some of them to go out with me. Let's see. One brought another guy. Um, let's see. Another one turned out to be a stripper later on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't even get a good night kiss. And let's see, another one basically came to the house and said that I didn't have any social skills, even though I had made this nice big dinner and all this other great stuff. Um, so, you know, I can't say that I had the best luck in picking women first. And so it probably leads to my social media strategy, which basically says I don't usually go out and, you know, connect to a lot of people first. Obviously, you have to in some situations. For instance, the first time I joined LinkedIn, uh, when I joined Twitter and when I got on Google+, nobody knew me from... Why do people always say no one knows you from Adam? I don't know. It just hit my mind. Anyway, you connect with some people that you at least know. And hopefully they know some people that you know so that you can at least get started. I did the same thing on Facebook. That makes sense. But once you've been somewhere for at least a little while and you've got some kind of established presence, you know, you shouldn't just be expected to have to keep following people who, if you ever check their profiles, you know, they never talk to anyone. All they're doing is putting stuff out, putting stuff out, putting stuff out. And most of it is automated, which basically says no matter if you comment on something that they put up or you share it, they're never going to talk to you. You might get that cursory thanks for the RT. Oh boy, that was special. I took you a whole lot of work, didn't it? Uh, they may plus the share that you gave them on Google+. Plus, LinkedIn, you ain't getting nothing. Facebook, most of the time you're not getting you may get a like on Facebook every once in a while I have to tell you you know some people absolutely hate Facebook other than Twitter where I get a few people who I actually get to engage with Facebook is probably the most engaging place of course Facebook is more friends than business so you know you take that for what it's worth but I just I can't figure out this thing where there's these people who seem to want something for nothing and by nothing I'm saying they don't want to talk to you 
they could care less who you are. Now, maybe, and this is just me stretching out there saying, maybe they are somewhat interested in some things I have to say. But based on the previous video that I put up, I don't, I don't think that's it at all. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure why anybody ever connects with me. They don't seem to be interested in what I have to say. Maybe they're of the opinion that if they connect with me, I'll automatically connect with them, and they build their numbers up. And there's a lot of people writing blog posts putting posts up on Google Plus saying that's exactly what you should do. Connect with a ton of people and a ton of people are going to connect with you. <sighs> I don't follow the sheep. Never been my, my, my way of going. You know, I've never been a group person in that way. I never tried out for fraternity. Uh, the only clubs I've ever joined are clubs I actually had to pay for. And I can't say I joined any, any clubs. Well, okay, I did join a gym with my wife. That doesn't count. <laughs> I am a member of a couple of business networking groups. That doesn't count. I mean, I, you know, kind of need the education I know, so that doesn't really count. Um, but, you know, I don't buy friends and I don't follow people hoping that they'll follow me. Um, I want to know that someone is going to talk to me every once in a while. How many of you know the name Derek Coleman? My Syracuse peeps will, but for the rest of you, Derek Coleman was on the Syracuse University basketball team from 1987 to 91 well he was there all four years uh, unfortunately Derek missed that foul shot that cost us a national championship but I don't hold that against him because Derek Coleman was the man when it came to rebounding didn't play for the New Jersey Nets anyway I'm connected with Derek Coleman on Twitter and Derek puts out a ton of stuff but you know what Derek Coleman has written me Derek Coleman has talked to me Come on, you know, if this guy, who basically a famous guy, rich guy, you know, I think he studied being a lawyer, but I'm not really sure. If Derek Coleman can talk to me, how come these other people can't talk to me? What am I missing here? And it's not, like I said, I talk to anyone. I share a lot of stuff. I put comments on a lot of stuff. Not everything, because some stuff doesn't need it. But I share a lot of stuff. I try to talk to people. You Sometimes you just don't get anything back. And so I don't follow people on Twitter who don't look like they talk to anybody. That may not be a fair policy. So I'm just putting this out there to some of you folks who are out there in the social media world. What do you think about this? Am I a little bit too strict on this? Am I seeing this wrong? Should I be going for the numbers? I mean, I've been on Twitter since 2008, and I haven't reached 1,000 people I'm following yet. And I think I've got something like 37, 3,800 following me. There's people who join and within three months they got 10,000, <laughs> you know. But if you're not talking to each other and no one is actually reading anything you're putting out, is it worth having all those numbers? Is it there for show so that it looks impressive to other people so that they'll join? Is that really as important as it seems? I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded. So I'm asking the question. So y'all let me know. Someone, comment, comment. Give me a plus or a thumbs up or whatever it is. Yeah, but let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you think that I'm just this guy who's in my 50s who's kind of set in his ways and believes in this decorum that isn't a 2010s kind of mentality. Let me know what you think. This is Mitch Mitchell. Y'all take care.